Polytime Studio. This week we have Dr. Krista Hesenkamp. She is the co-founder of Open Cubic. Data so that cities in Nepal have some of the worst air quality in the world. You've been here for a week. How has your experience been? Uh, well, I, I've had a wonderful time since I've been in, in Nepal. I've been in uh, Kathmandu and Pakora, uh, and Pakora, and uh, it's uh, beautiful in both places. Um, so I've enjoyed my time. Yeah. As you mentioned earlier, you've been to Pokhara and uh, the Department when you've conducted a workshop. Uh, how are Nepali organizations and institutions dealing with this issue? Uh, so sincerely, um, Nepal in general has had more political will behind the issue than many places I have visited. Um, I I've been asking folks actually, What's the secret here? Like so many places, there, there, I know, I know, it, I know it's not a solved issue by any means, and there's a lot of um, a lot of work to be done. But the fact that you know, folks are telling me that it's a political issue to be voted on here. Um, that's not the case in many, many places. So I'm curious, like how that happened, mm -hmm. so we can share that with our global community because that's that's some magic here. I mean, uh, the Times will provide air data from US and but we always wonder, how do you gain um, impact of such information? Yeah, I think it's difficult to uh, fully uh, gauge the impact of open air quality data like the U.S. Embassy monitors um, because it's used in multiple ways that um, different people in the community will, will take and run with. You all share that information in a very accessible way through media. Um, I'm sure researchers in the community are using that information for various types of public health studies. Um, so I think that it can have huge impact, but sometimes it can be um, difficult to discern the, the full scale. Um, I, I understand you work in the job, which also has high levels of uh, air pollution. Um, how has Mongolia copied Yeah, um, in Mongolia, uh, there's been several efforts in the last few years to uh, deal with air pollution. Um, one thing that uh, the community has done is looked at what other communities around the world are doing. Um, they've used data to figure out um, how mitigation policies in other places may uh, be used in their own community. Um, there's a lot of um, air quality information to the public. There's a lot more public awareness, uh, several NGOs that have uh, been spurred. Um, and uh, government monitoring and, and policies have um, uh, expanded in the last few years too. But it's still, the thing with air pollution is it's um, a long-term effort that takes a lot of political will um, and, and public engagement over, over you know, sometimes uh, multiple decades to truly conquer. Um, at Nepal Times, so we try to look at air pollution um, as, an, as a health problem, not only as an environmental issue. Is that the right approach? I suppose it depends on who you ask, but you know, air pollution is responsible for one out of every eight deaths on the planet. Um, that's, that's a staggering number. So to me, um, public health is number one when it comes to air pollution, especially when it is such a solvable problem. So, yeah. um, how is your organization, Open uh, is going to help solve the problem in cities like Zekapot? Yeah, so for our organization, we, we don't solve the problem. We uh, provide tools for others to solve the problem. Uh, we make air quality data more openly accessible to communities um, so they can do those comparisons with policies uh, in other places. How is that working in one place versus another um, so that people, say software developers in a community, can develop apps or ways of humanizing that air quality information so people can understand it. So scientists can you know, get their, their hands on that information and do public health studies in a local context that tend to really move the dial. So we sort of are on behind the scenes helping make that, that data more accessible to people all over the world and also help connect them um, because there's a lot of awesome people working around the world on this issue. Um, and so by connecting them, it, we hope it helps people not have to reinvent the wheel. Thank you so much, Dr. Krista. I hope you had a wonderful time in Nepal. Thank you. It's been great.